And the next button over here, we have place new order. As important as this button is, you won't be clicking it as often as many of the others, but let's have a look anyway. When you load up a new order, by default, it will choose the symbol of whichever chart was active. So here we had the Euro Swissy, and the symbol here is Euro Swissy. If I go and I choose, say, the Euro Dollar, and I select new order, by default, it will be Euro Dollar. Under type, this is where we set what type of order we are placing. Nine times out of 10, it will be instant execution. If you're doing longer term strategies, say price action or Fibonacci, you might be interested in using pending order, but we will be sticking to instant execution for the vast majority of this course. Volume is the amount of money that you're going to be placing on the trade. Keep in mind that it's measured in lot sizes. So a volume of 1.00 is one full lot, which is 100,000 of whichever currency unit you're using. Stop loss and take profits are the two price levels where you'd be setting your stop loss and take profit. Comment only appears in your account history. A lot of people don't use it at all, um, but if you do find that you would like to leave a note as to why you're entering the trade, you'd put it in that comment section. If you're doing a scalping system, you might feel like you don't have time to type up a comment, but definitely in the longer term strategies, you, you have enough time to make that decision. You'll notice we have two different prices here. We have a sell price as well as a buy price. And if you remember from the introduction notes, we have a thing called spread, which is the difference between the bid and the asking price. So the difference between these two prices is basically what your spread is. In this case, we're looking at three pips, because remember the pip is the fourth decimal point. Moving along to these three icons here, we have one called bar chart, candlesticks, and line chart. How a bar chart works is the small tick on the left-hand side is the opening price, the tick on the right-hand side is the closing price, then the body goes to the very top, which is the highest, and that is the lowest. Now remember, this is also dependent on the time frame. For example, we are currently in a one hour time frame. So during this one hour, the market opened here and closed there. And during that time, it had a high up there and a low down there. Now candlesticks show us the same information, just slightly differently. How a candlestick works is it changes depending on the color. Instead of having a small tick, we now have a full body. So you'll see that in the default setting, the black bodied candlesticks are the bullish candles, meaning that it's going up. So the bottom is the opening and the top of the body is the close. And the two thin lines that come out at the top or the bottom is the high and the low. With this default color scheme, the white filled bodies are the bearish or the candles that are coming down. So you'll see that this is the opening, which is the top of the body. That is the closing price. And then we have a high and we have a low. Most traders I know, and uh, I personally also much prefer candlesticks over the bar chart. You'll see once we played with the colors a bit, uh, just to make things look a lot clearer, a lot better than this sort of green on black look that candlesticks really, really pops out at you. And we don't need it to look complicated. We need it to look easy and clear. So when you look at a chart, you can read what's happening at a glance and as quickly and accurately as possible. While a bar chart does give you the same information, we find that it's sometimes a little trickier to make out exactly what the market is doing because everything just kind of merges in with everything else. Whereas candlesticks, can start giving you a much clearer idea of what's happening. Line charts are pretty much useless. All the line chart is doing is plotting the closing price of each of these hour ticks or whatever you have your period set to. So if we have a look at a candlestick, we have four pieces of information. We have an open, close, high and a low. Whereas a line chart, we just have one piece of information and that really doesn't help us very much at all.